What's up guys? So I'm back home from Ohio, finally. It took forever. It was a lot of fun. We did some interesting stuff, you know? One of the things that you're gonna be seeing in this video is a sit down with me, Justin Miller, and Chris Ramsey. Because if you guys don't know, Justin Miller has been super, super against YouTube and people who do YouTube, like myself and Chris Ramsey. And he, he changed his mind. And, he, and I didn't just want him to talk about it with us because, oh wow, it's a train. Because uh, I felt that People who change their mind need, need to talk about it. And he felt the same way. So we all sat down at Magi Fest and we spoke about it for a while and that's what this video is. So enjoy it, watch it, and then go follow Justin and, and Ramsey and, and like the video, do all that good stuff, right? I'll talk to you guys later, peace. Let's just go. All right, so here we are. Um, we're with Justin, yes. Chris Ramsey, my boys. As you know, we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that has gone on between the mm. three of us mm -hmm. throughout history and magic <laughs> and YouTube. And just kind of clear out the air, you know, we just kind of figured do it on camera so that everybody kind of sees the, our thought process when we work these things out as adults, Yeah. not on forums, right? Keyboard warriors. Yeah. Do. In 1922, <clears throat> allegedly you decided <laughs> that. <laughs> No, I'm gonna tell you, I, do, I don't really know much of what was said amongst things because I kind of separated myself from it. I would just get messages. Sure. And it was sure. messages of, Justin said this, <laughs> Justin doesn't like this. Yeah. I'd get the same thing from like the same kind of people. Yeah. Like your fans, my fans, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. And the stuff with you too. Hey, do you like Chris Ramsey? Are you friends with Chris Ramsey? You know? <laughs> what, you do, what do you think of like, Have you seen Justin's video? Do you seen Justin's video? Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Justin doesn't like exposing magic. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of flack for that, uh, for that video. Yeah. Right, people. rightfully so. But, but you know, I got a lot of love too. My position still stands firm as far as revealing magic on YouTube. I just, I don't, I don't like it. I think it's a bad idea for the art. However, I have, I, I can now come to you guys and I can say I've changed my mind on a couple things because you two are the, are, are really the uh, foundation of how magic is being taught on mm -hmm. YouTube now because you're not teaching magic. You're, you're teaching knowledge. Mm -hmm. You're bringing knowledge to these people, to people who don't know anything about magic, people who might know something about magic. But you're not revealing magic just to reveal magic. You're right. you're you're sharing the art form in a really positive way. <clears throat> and I and I even made another video and I said that you and you and Jay Sankey are the are the are the main guys. And I'm happy because you guys are out there doing that because mm -hmm. it's a really important aspect. Do I do I agree with revealing magic? No, I hate it. It sucks. But like you said, we talked about this whole thing in the past this past couple week uh, this weekend that you know it, it, why fight it? You can't fight this this. Right. Uh, this whole thing of of, uh, of YouTube. It's so what, what about it? What about it? Do you, do you hate more? Is it is it the monetary aspect of people giving stuff away for free, or people giving stuff away that they have no business giving stuff away, or like a combination? I think I'm one of those guys, you know. Or you just want it to, to I, be secret. It's it's magic is so I'm, I'm so protective over it, mm -hmm. and I know you guys are too. And we've been friends before yeah. any of this stuff happened. You of course, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. so we were on Wizard Wars together. I mean, mm -hmm. my goodness. <laughs> Wizard um, Wars. Wizard Wars, I wanna talk about that. Mm -hmm. But at least we all hate you, Breezy. I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs> that's a really good, that's a fair question. Uh, more than anything, it's, it's, it's the idea that these precious secrets that we have, that the reason magic has been so successful mm -hmm. in, in, in all the generations since its uh, inception right. is because we've been able to have the guardians hold the secrets. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we, we ran across that with uh, uh, Herb, uh, what's, it, what's his name? The guy who uh, revealed Copperfield stuff in that book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and his, his idea was, well, once people know the secret, they can enjoy it better. And I think we both can agree that's that's not really true. It's not always true. It's, it's not, not always, always true. true. Yeah, I mean, you can turn, we had that conversation. Some, some people do. Right. Some, some people genuinely appreciate things more. Yes. Yes. They understand. And there are other certain illusions that are just way more interesting when you explain it. Right. That's, that's true. The, way the nature. That's true. Yep. The Absolutely. specific illusion. And the but. method itself is somewhat, uh, most of the time, way more impressive than the actual trick itself. If yeah. People really knew how a lot of this stuff was done. They'd be like, "Are you?" Because it, yeah, it's not just it's layers. It's layers yes. of, of, yeah. of things. It's not just the actual move or anything. It's right. Like exactly. Layers. I was always amongst the old school. You know, I went to the magic shops. I read the books. You know, I was just like you guys. I poured my heart and soul into it. Mm -hmm. The mentoring Me aspect. Yeah. Me exactly. Yeah. The mentoring aspect aspect of it, the, the idea of someone so it's going... it's more, more of a question of like, you're more concerned for exposure damaging the art of magic rather than like like money aside. Yeah, money, money has nothing to do with it. Creation You know, IP, no, no, that no, no, stuff no, no. aside. So no, it's no. more more along the lines of getting out there too much. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we, we had this conversation the other night and I was like, and yeah. you know, one thing that I say is that I, I firmly believe, like, first of all, like, we all acknowledge that there's no stopping 
this. Yep, 100%. There's, there's no stopping yeah. it, right? Yeah. We, and once you come to, to terms with that, because you have to come to terms with that. Of course. Yeah. But once you come to terms with that, uh, you have to ask your, you have to ask yourself a question. Well, what's, what do we do? Yeah. Right? What, do I do anything? What do we do, right? right? And if you ask yourself that question, I mean, aside from YouTube, like there isn't, there isn't very many answers to there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. education, education. You know what I mean? So. I think eventually because we're sort of forced into this position as magicians to talk about it, to talk about methods, mm -hmm. and I think it's kind of empowering that we have this message of, oh, it's not about the method. It's about mm -hmm. what we're doing. It's mm -hmm. about performance, about all these, all these you know, crazy things that we mix into it. But once we, you know, once we acknowledge that, then we can share that information, and there's people out there who don't even do magic and who can begin to have an appreciation for mm -hmm. basic mm -hmm. magic, uh, sleight of hand, and what that does <clears throat> is it allows them not to see it as a puzzle anymore. And when they go to see a theater show or a magic show, they're no longer trying to figure it out because they already know the bait. They're kind of like us. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate magic performance mm -hmm. more than lay people. Sure, absolutely. Right? And, and, and so when you think about it, if you give lay people or spectators or whatever, non-magicians, if you give them information enough for them to carry uh, around so they can see a performance and appreciate why that performance is good, not just not just because of the fooling aspects of it, but because of the actual, you know, the way he does it and everything else. And and once you give them that, well then it's like kind of like educating somebody about art and they go to MoMA and then they can start. That's a really good point. They can start looking at it in a yeah. way that it's not just, well, I don't get it. Why is it just scribbles? Right, so, exactly. Who, who the hell is Jackson Pollock? Right, you know what I mean? Right, it's a and, terrible way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch it? But, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. But it's just kind of like we need, I think we all need that baseline information to be able to appreciate it as an art form. If you want to treat it as a secret, then it's not an art form. Mm. It's, mm. It's, it's, something, it's mm. something a little bit different. It's tricking people, but people are getting smarter. People have more and more technology. Sure. And so sure. you're going to lose that fight. Yeah. And, and, but and, a lot of the, you know, what I've noticed is a lot of the people that are arguing it are strictly arguing it for the monetary reason. Sure. A lot of right. people, yeah, I yeah. Saw that. yeah. It's not that exposure is bad, it's exposure right. is bad when it's free. Yeah, right. Right? But if you give away five downloads by giving me your email, that's fine. Right, right, right. right? Like, yeah, that's a good so point. Yeah. it's the same yeah. thing, you know? There's, to me, you, you look throughout history with different things, you know, you look at a discovery of magic or witchcraft or whatever it yeah. was, mm -hmm. right? It actually discovery of witchcraft magic. It actually d discovery of that stuff. Right, right, right. Right. And of course, the book was written just so that people wouldn't be hung anymore and killed. Right. Then, but because that's the what book they were doing. It actually talks about selling magic as a bad yes, thing. Yes. This was back yes. before magic was a market. I personally, I, I, I'm against. I, I really am, and I'm part of. I'm part of the problem. Uh, we, but I, it's it's but not. But that's it's that's I'm a bad ag way I'm against. It. I'm, I really don't want to sell magic. I really don't. But that's not. Know? I don't think that's a fair way to look at it because. I don't think by selling something it, it diminishes it, right? If you put time into something and care to something, I think you you should be able to get a return. I on agree, it. but the problem is we don't have enough policing in this situation where the bad magic is filtered out. Well, well I think it's the way we're selling it as well. We're selling a secret rather yeah. than selling a project that you work on mm -hmm. hard for. Mm -hmm. And you know, if if secret's a commodity, then you're you're walking a fine line between. Uh, I'm gonna make a trailer. I can't reveal it on the trailer, right, but I right. can't lie to them either. Yeah. And now you're sort of playing this gray area with with you know uh sort of ambiguous texts such as sure. thought of car right oh wait exactly. what is it a freely thought right, of card right, right, you know right, it's, right, and you're playing right, this gray area yeah, 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 where you're yeah. trying to sell secret you're trying to like kind of con them and yeah, lie to them yeah, right and that's when yeah. people get upset like when they get screwed over mm -hmm. and, and then they get upset when they don't people don't money. really understand how hard it is to make a ma magic trailer of course and be honest at the same but time then, but then but then there's also like you know you buy you buy a book you have you buy a book from from juan tamaris yeah not because you want to learn a specific effect right you buy it because it's Juan Tamaris. Sure. Because the guy has great thoughts mm -hmm. on magic, and uh, you know. I, I just wanted triple coincidence. Right. <laughs> okay. But do you know what I mean? Like, this one. Regardless, like you're yeah. buying, you're buying of Royal course. Road, you know, sure. to, not because there's an effect in there that you're like that's you're buying Royal Road for the knowledge, yeah. and for the of person course. who wrote it and all this. So it's, it's all it's, it's how you see it. Like we're selling, a secret. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of. A lot of back talk, a lot of stuff like that, because you're dealing with a very touchy thing. You're not giving people what they want before they pay for it. Yeah. So, I, but also too, I think I think there's a huge disconnect, right? There's a disconnect between what we came from in the magic community mm -hmm. and the community me and you are a part are part mm -hmm. of now. Mm -hmm. There's a huge disconnect, and there's actually like four people. We're at Magi Fest right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? There's right. four people that came to this convention 
because of my channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. There, a couple of them are YouTubers, some of them aren't, but they're people who were from mm -hmm. the YouTube magic sure. community who didn't know about things like this. It, yeah. They weren't ready. Right. And right? in five years from now, we might be sitting at their lectures. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, really and, and that would be amazing. Yep. Yeah. That would be awesome. And that's a beautiful thing to see what you guys have done and what you, again, I, I really believe you guys are the founders of this movement. There's no question. Because you really, and I, I talked to you about this last night, that you found the pulse. Mm -hmm. You guys found the pulse. The pulse has been beating the entire time, but you guys found this way to really connect to these people. And I respect the hell of that now. I really do. In the beginning I didn't, because you know, I was like, ah, I don't want a magic reveal, you know, whatever. Of course, I felt, and I, I told you I felt the same way before going into this, and I even told you, like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We talk about it all And the I time. love the humbleness from it, too. I have you know no idea, I, mean? like, I have I, no idea yeah. if I'm doing this the right yeah. thing, and I might look back on it 10 years now, and that was a huge mistake. Like, who knows, right? But it feels right, and it, it feels like I'm actually trying. Yeah. And if I wasn't trying, I think that I'd be more part of the problem than I am. Well, now. I've read the comments too on both your guys' channel, it's just so positive. Yeah, well, there's times where we talk, and, and we're, we're saying, I, I don't know if I want to do this, I don't want to do this, mm -hmm. should I do this? Like, we talk about it, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's never this rash decision of, I'm just gonna do whatever. Yeah. Right. Like, like we. It's a real thoughtful some, process. There's sometimes where we go through emotions because we don't want to sure, do something. Sure, sure, because sure. Because we feel it's too much, or it's, yeah. you know, like, uh -huh. you know, because like I do tutorials. I don't necessarily do as many tutorials as as you do, because uh, I I I still hold some of that. I don't mm -hmm. want it to be a tutorial thing. I, I agree. You know, and I. And it is what it is. And I still do tutorials because I still think people should know certain things if mm -hmm. they want to, and I'm okay with that. But it's it's hard. It's hard to, mm -hmm. to wake up and do a video and go, I'm just gonna do this, mm -hmm. knowing that there's gonna be where you come from looking back at you and going, this is wrong, this is wrong. And then you have the other side of people who are going, I had no idea. Sure. And this is amazing. Sure, yeah. And you know, that, 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 is that number line. is greatly, Zeus is greater. Yeah, yeah. You know, the positive feedback is so much greater than, than any of the negative feedback. And, and I think primarily because most people who think it's negative are not on YouTube enemies. Right. Mm. They don't understand the They platforms. don't understand They're, they're not watching the videos. And that's yeah. why, like, the videos I get and you have, we have, like, 98.9% .9 like rate. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah. like, very, very few people think, and I don't know, you know, and if they voice their opinions, you know, we get into stuff. But for the most part, I, I think it's just, there's no, like, YouTube is the number one search engine for how-tos. Who's the guy Who's the guy that uh, was before you guys? Um, Jarek120. Yeah, that guy was, like, yeah. like so, you could just feel like well, the it, difference he is, wasn't doing it for the right He, did, he didn't love right? it, right? He's yeah, into yeah, wrestling, yeah, the yeah, guy, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, he yeah, likes yeah, the wrestling yeah. stuff, and, yeah. and he was doing magic and stuff. And you know what, he tapped into a niche on YouTube, but you gotta, you gotta give it to the guy too, because you think about it, he wasn't part of the magic community. Not industry. at all. Right. So no. if I sit here and I discover something, and no one's put this out on YouTube, and I'm the first one. I'm gonna be like, oh, maybe I discovered this. I'll call it a, a two a two card lift, you know. And right. maybe he doesn't know that, so he's putting it out there. After uh, a while, yeah. he got wing he got wind of it. I'm sure, but at that point, well, then he started revealing, you know, Richard Sanders yeah. stuff, and then yeah. like just he just started buying magic tricks and started revealing. Yeah, it because he saw the license. Definitely, and shares thing was a real thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. But again, and I'm I'm just I'm I'm kind of playing devil's advocate here, mm -hmm. but. You know, a lot of people got into magic because of that kid. Sure, absolutely. You, you know what I mean. Sure. So again, you're you're kind of you're kind of saying, okay, yes, but you did take money out of my friends' pockets who are selling effects, yeah, and who have yeah. kids and who are trying to feed yeah. them, and that I'm not okay with. Right. Um, you could have worked it out with them, um, but aside from that, I think uh, I think you did some type of service to a lot of these kids who felt inspired by his content. Obviously, he had a lot of followers. And he had a lot of views and stuff, so it's you know at some point he was he was connecting with something. Apparently, he didn't have enough to sell the deck. Yeah, <laughs> it was a terrible deck. It was. It was, it was just basically Chris Angel's terrible. deck. Both both of them it was, were terrible. It was horrible. Yeah. Um, and then Assad came along. Sure. And Assad, I think, does it better than most. Um, uh, on, but he was on the same thing yeah. as Jarek for a while. For yeah. a while, yeah. yeah. There's there a lot of things that I was like this, yeah. but um, what? For, the, for the most part, I, I think that. <clears throat> I think the, the, the damaging thing is when you become a tutorial channel, like my channel isn't a tutorial channel. I've, I just put a poll up on the community tab and I was like, you guys, would you like if I just taught something quick during a vlog sometimes? And like at 44,000 votes, people were like, yeah, like 80% yeah. were like, yeah, you know, yeah. it's just like, but I'm trying to like shift away from like, okay, this is tutorial, tutorial, just because, you know, there's enough out there for us to learn. But Assad was a tutorial channel and the, the damage and the damage of that is now you see his content sort of trickling. He's buying other people's videos to put on there, yeah. which is which is smart in the position that he's in. But the guy's got so much 
content he has to produce. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. You know, it's a numbers game. He's gonna he's gonna grab something that he has no business doing, or he's gonna teach something that he's really not good at. You know, or these type of things start coming up, and that's the problem with tutorial channels and making content just for the sake of you know yeah. ad revenue. Yeah. Unless you're Jay Sankey, who's just yeah has everything in his head. Yeah. Just like I'm just gonna use this one trick for five of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And Mr. Clean coins across with matches. Mr. But Sankey's doing with. Sankey's doing something else. You know, <laughs> Sankey. Sankey Obviously, like I think his bread and butter comes with like the sales that he makes, you know, off his tricks. So he, he downloads some simple things and then says, you know, you want to buy the mentalism package here, which, which well, is cool Well, it leads too. him right to the website, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is really yeah, cool too. Yeah. That's, you know, it's his thing. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's no right way, wrong way of doing it. We're like at the forefront he, of it. It's so. experimentation at this point, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and, you know, even with that, you know, going back to, to what all this is, like when we walked into this convention, you pulled me over to this like 12 year old kid. Mm -hmm. Who had just Andrew, bought yeah. Razor Eyes, Andrew? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's like, I'm working on with Razor Eyes. We're like, I literally put it out a week ago, mm. and he, Chris calls me over, and he's like, Yo, you got to check out this kid, and you know, it wasn't perfect, but the kid was banging it out. But it was, it was amazing to see. And and my question is, if I wasn't doing YouTube, would I have inspired that kid as well? Would have been here, yeah. No, mm -hmm. right? to, not. to work that hard on something. It's, yeah. it, it definitely. It's, well, that's one of the joys, I mean, of, of, of for what we do, of because we, we put out effects, we put out content, we do this stuff, and yeah. then people walk up to say, oh my God, I love this, I love your trick, I love your trick, I do it all the time, or boom, boom, boom. And then they do it for you, and it's like, it's just, it's, humbling. it's, it's, it's very humbling, it's very humbling. It's amazing. Yeah, it's very humbling. It's incredible, yeah. Yeah, um, but, but I'm glad you came around, Justin. I really did, man. Well, you know. <laughs> no, no. You got to a point Listen, where. Listen, I, I said this to you outside, man. You know whether people talk good or bad about you, mm -hmm. right? Or everybody has their own opinion. They're talking about Barnum, no, Barnum, it, Barnum, but it Barnum's is right? Theory, right. And and I said to you, I don't <coughs> care. I don't care what it is. I will always say one thing: you do amazing things. You you do amazing things, yeah. whether I love you or hate you. Right. You do amazing things. Thank you. And I think people should be privy to that. Yeah. You know, and I I think because of the way you were thinking about things, you were kind of doing an injustice to what people could learn from you. Mm, mm, that's a really good point. You know? I agree with you. I agree with you, yeah. So, uh, so I'm glad, I'm, you know, you don't have to do tutorials. You, you know, that's fine. But I, I think you should be, be a little more outgoing with the platform. Yeah, I yeah. agree. No, I do. I share knowledge with those tutorials. You know? Yeah. There's a lot of ways to do yeah. that, too. I've been, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Yeah, no, I, I think uh, that's definitely something I want to go towards. Uh, obviously, not copying off of you guys or anything like that, but yeah, that's just fine. like going, you know. Yeah, we're, we're, it's, yeah. it's a community, man. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. working together. You know? Absolutely. The rising tide raises all ships. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I, I, I love especially the, with Especially with YouTube. Yeah. I know where you're going. I, I, I love the fact that, you know, I. Last year at this convention, I had a booth, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting at the booth trying to fight other people to get people's attention Absolutely. because yeah. it's a comp it's a direct competition, and my product has to be better than yours, and be like it always has yeah. to be this ego thing. Yeah. And this is the first year I'm not doing that, and I can sit there and I say, hey, you need help with something, helping me with something, right. blah blah blah. There's you know a couple other YouTubers here, and I'm helping them with stuff, and we're all working together, and it's amazing that there's no care about. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. there's, there's the same thing I told you, man. There's enough, there's enough uh, YouTube to go around for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not. I'm not trying to own it. Nobody's trying to own it. Right. It's, it's a massive, expanding platform, and it's continuously growing. And if it wasn't YouTube, it'd be another user-generated content mm -hmm. platform that we need. Yeah. And, and they're going to keep growing. So it's, it's not even about competition. We collaborate because, like I said, rising tide raises all ships. If we all put out great content, we all keep in communication, and we collab, we jump on each other's videos. You're just going to see all of our quality. We're going to push each other. It's, it's just going to basically make everyone's content a better because we're all pushing. We're all sure better. Uh, but we're also going to have better ideas. We're also, you know, going to yeah. get a sense of okay, let's evolve this thing faster. Now that we've gotten all this out of the way, what's the next step? Yeah. You know what I mean? We're yeah. all going to start growing that yeah. together, and and that and that goes for every mm -hmm. every other niche on YouTube as well. I think uh, there's there's a learning curve there. We're all experimenting. Yeah. You know. Well, I also think it's a really wonderful thing for people, even not in the magic community, like your, your viewers, uh, some of them, that they see the way that we resolve things within the community. Sure. The way you know that I mean? we should think, resolve Well, things. the way that we should, yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not done yeah. naturally in the, in the magic mm -hmm. community, right. or really in any kind of artistic uh, yeah. expression when you're, when you're an artist of some sort. Yeah. It's very, very difficult to find that. When you can find that, though, I think, like you said, it, it, now you can get past that stuff, you can push through, and, and now greater things can come from it. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, but I think we covered everything. Definitely. Yeah. So I'm happy, man. Give it a wrap. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, you'll be seeing Justin. Go ch check out his channel. Uh, I hit exposure at YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely. Thanks, Chris. bro. My homie. Oh, nice. Okay.